Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here for another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to disable hotkeys and enable your function keys on your Windows computer. So this can be a pretty straightforward tutorial and there's a couple of different fixes I'm going to go through in this video. The first one will be to go into our BIOS settings. So we just want to enter into our BIOS. So typically if you restart your computer and tap on the escape key or F2 key or something along those lines, you'll gain access to some BIOS options. So I'm going to restart the computer and I will be right back. Okay, so now I'm at the boot menu. So using my arrow keys on my keyboard, I'm going to go down to enter setup. And then I'm going to hit enter while I'm over the enter setup selection. Now I'm going to use my arrow keys on my keyboard to scroll over to the advanced tab. Now I personally do not have this setting in here, but if you do, there might be a setting that's going to be called hotkey mode. Probably be near the bottom of this list. It would either be underneath advanced or configuration tab. You might have one or the other or perhaps even both. You'd want to go down to it and then just click on enter once to change the setting and you'd want to disable it. So you want to disable it by scrolling up and then clicking on disable and then you want to hit enter. Again that's not the exact one I'm over right now at the time. I'm just letting you guys know if you see anything that says hotkey mode you want to disable it. And then once you're done doing that, you want to hit F10 on your keyboard to save changes and exit. You might have different commands on the bottom of your screen, so just rough all, so I'd recommend following along with whatever is listed there. And like I said, save the changes. Now I've noticed another popular fix for this as well if you are using different kinds of laptops. I'd recommend holding down the FN key and then the escape key, or if you also have the FN lock key as well. So that can also be a fix, so I'd recommend tapping on those keys as well. And then see if that resolves your hotkey function key problem. So that's definitely one thing you could try. But like I said, I'd recommend trying those couple different methods there. And then hopefully it would work for you guys. So as always, thank you for watching, and I will catch you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.